one rabbi said that each scripture of the Bible has but one meaning. <laughs> Hallelujah. Another rabbi said this. He retorted that each scripture has seven meanings. <laughs> Another rabbi insisted rabbis were the teachers of law in Israel, right? Who taught the word, the Torah. Another rabbi insisted that there are 42 meanings to each passage. <laughs> so did we receive the, the theme for the year last night? We did. So to some, it shall have just one meaning. But to others, it will have like seven meanings. And to others, it will be like 42 meanings. Hallelujah. But a final rabbi, listen to what is concluded. He concluded this, that each scripture has an infinite number of meanings. Amen. And today we want to agree together that uh, the word that we received yesterday night, it has more than one meaning. It has more than seven. And it has more than 42. Hallelujah. It will do great works in our lives. So it is not limited. The word of God is not limited. That which proceeded from the mouth of the Lord, it shall accomplish. Hallelujah. It shall do great works in our lives. So I want us, as our bishop comes, let this word not have one meaning to you. Not even seven, not even 42. Yeah? Let it be an infinite meaning that it can do even that which you, you don't imagine that word would do. I want us to stand now to receive the word of God from the servant of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I want to ask you one thing. Pray for your bishop so that he will give you infinite meanings. Hallelujah. More revelations. Hallelujah. To release to us great revelations. Ask the Father. Pray for your bishop. <laughs> Pray for your bishop. As he releases a word this year, 2023, that will not come. It will not be a narrow word. It will be a broader word. It will be a diverse word. It will be the word that created, the word that restored, the word that healeth, the word that built, the word that expanded, the word that opens gates to the nation. The word is a word that we receive. And we know that the Lord is going to give him diverse, diverse revelations. Hallelujah. And we know as you receive diverse revelations, the Lord will work diverse wonders in our lives through his word. We give God the glory this morning. And we pray for our bishop. Touch his mouth, Lord. You see me as a vessel, a clay that you have put treasure in it. Let him pour out that you have deposited in his life to us, O oh Lord. And we receive the word with love, with joy, with jubilation in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's appreciate our bishop. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey. Listen. <laughs> Until it's enough.
Hallelujah. It is surely a new year. It is surely a new year. Amen. There is a different style of doing things. Is that true? Amen. This is was not like this last year. But this year there is what? Hey, hey. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It's a new style. I appreciate all of you. And I want to say happy new year to all of you. Amen. 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 You can be seated in the presence of God. We want to appreciate the visitors. If you are here for the very first time in our midst, wherever you are, you can just raise your hand. We appreciate you. We know it is not an accident that you are here. We know it is by the grace and divine plan of God that you are here. And we want to receive you and welcome you. Is there anybody who is here for the very first time by the grace of God? This is your first time to be in our church. Amen. Hey, can you stand wherever you are, please? Can somebody receive? Can you just stand wherever you are? We just can somebody greet those people. Please walk, walk, walk and greet them. I want to see the lady standing up. Just don't look. Don't just look. It is not enough to look at somebody. Receive somebody. Welcome somebody. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Some of you are in Kisi. Some of you are in Malaba. You saw how they were inviting the visitors. Hallelujah. We are privileged to have you. And especially being the very first day of the year, we always know that every year God sends us new people. And we thank God the Lord has allowed you to come and be with us today. And it may be that the Lord is sending you to stay. If that is the case, you are welcome. We are family of God. We love Jesus Christ. And Jesus means everything in our lives. And we want to serve him. And we want to go to heaven. We believe we are family of God. And we believe in raising many people to serve God. Amen. We are crazy about our love for God. We are not, we are not mad. But we are just crazy about our Lord Jesus Christ. We are at 12 o'clock now, and we want to leave here early. Some of you are still celebrating. The visitors will have a small cup of tea after the service, just to get to know you more by the grace of God. Hallelujah. But before I proceed, I want to pray for the offering. I want to pray for these baskets. I know. That when we are praying, uh, we are giving, Reverend Miriam said that even if you don't have anything, just write a promissory note to God, saying, I don't have my offering today. But today being the first of God having given you a new year, surely you cannot be before God without an offering before God. And know that God desires your offering, but there's a really, I felt the Lord wanting to break the spirit of not giving, the spirit of poverty. The Lord says nobody should come before him with a, without an offering. And this year, as the Reverend Miriam has said, Everybody is going to have money. Everybody is going to have money. Hallelujah. 
and everybody will be giving offering on Sunday. Can I hear amen? amen. Because everybody will have money. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, even you, you'll have money. Amen. And for the parents, learn to give offering to your children to come and offer before God. Amen. It is a blessing. This is a way of training. Because everyone, God said in his word, hallelujah. And I want you to put in your prayer list, in your prayer list, every, every, every week, God give me an offering to bring in your house. Let it be your prayer. Okay? God, give me an offering. Hallelujah. If you don't ask for an offering, you shall not have it. But when you ask God for an offering, God will give you an offering. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. This year is a year the Lord gave us a prophetic word. And the Lord gave us this year, amen, is a year of labor. And great works of God. It's a year of what? And great works of God. Speak it again. 2023, a season of labor and great works of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And therefore, one of the great works of God is what you have done. Coming to give a promissory note to God when you have no anything. Hallelujah. The Bible says the widow was told by the Elisha. He was told, go and lock yourself in the house. Hallelujah. And they borrow empty bottles. These are empty bottles here. Praise God. You brought an empty bottle before God. But God is able to fill the empty bottle. And what you did is an act of faith. This year, this year, I want to say, we are going to walk in greater faith than we have ever walked before. Hallelujah. You are coming here was an act of faith. And that's why you could have Reverend Miriam insisting. Not that, that is our practice. But we have to stretch your faith. Because this year, there are many greater works of God, but they require faith to be activated. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. There are things God wants to do, but it will take your faith. It will take your faith. And therefore, if you believe God for greater works, then you must walk in them. And today, we are here to bless this and envelopes. And I want you, by the grace of God, whatever you have written here, don't forget it. Kwenda ufanye kibarua, kwenda ufanye chochote, but you bring what you have written in the house of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Am I talking to us? Hallelujah. Amen. Next Sunday we shall even be writing a bigger one. Eh, next Sunday, hallelujah. One essence, if you know some of you may not come, you might not tell you what is going to happen. One essence, if you will. But we want to stretch our faith. Amen. We want to trust God for greater finances in our lives. One essence, if you will. Mwaka olie Peter, some of us walitembea kwa mawaya, mawaya. Sindio? Hallelujah. Sina, sina, sina. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. This week, he to me answer sasa. I want you to look for somebody and buy them a cup of tea. This week. Hallelujah. Tell him this week I want to begin by blessing you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hey, don't wait to be bought this week or your answer. Okay? Am I talking to you? I want to show you how the greater works will happen in your life. 
this here will be less theoretical and more practical. Can I hear amen? Can I hear amen? This year we shall be what? More practical and less theoretical. Amen? When in the morning, Reverend Miriam was reading a word, and God said, and God said, and God said. And then I was following that word, God said. And then when God said, what happened? Did it happen? Did God say it? And then what? God is practical. What God says happens. Praise God. When we receive the word of God and we do it, it happens. The problem is when we receive the word of God and we don't do it, it doesn't happen. Hallelujah. Right somewhere. This here is going to be more of doing, 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 doing. Hallelujah. Amen. So we want to pray for this. So if you have written anything here, please. Eh? Don't forget. God does not play jokes with anyone. Okay? You can write a bouncing check to your, your mother or even to your company. But never write a bouncing check to God. I've seen people going through a lot of problems because of promising and pledging things to God. And they don't do them. Whatever it costs. Even if you're going to borrow, whatever you wrote here, do it. I know it is a matter of faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Father God, in the name of your son Jesus. These statements, Lord, uh, your people have brought here, they are just faith. Some of the people, Lord, don't have a job. But Lord, today, you have come to break the spirit of joblessness. And Father God, as they came, Lord, it may have never understood to them what they are doing. But I pray, O oh God, my Redeemer and my God, that everyone that came here by faith without any money, but Lord believed you, that Lord as he offers in this first day of the year by faith, that Lord, you're going to remember them. I pray that Lord, these dear ones, Lord, they will come not only with empty papers, because Lord, you said borrow the empty bottles and I will fill them. I pray these empty papers, you're going to fill them and you're going to fill them with such a grace. And I pray, Lord, spirit of joblessness, I pray, spirit of Lord having no money will not be part of us. I pray, Lord, open doors for your people. Open doors for the young ones. Open doors for the old ones. Open doors, Lord, my Father, even for them that are employed and Lord, they need a new job. In the mighty name of Jesus. I release new jobs today. I release new jobs. I release new opportunities in the name of Jesus. Lord God, my Father, we are speaking it in the heavenlies. And we are calling to come to pass. We are speaking, Lord, my Father, people who have no jobs, that in January, they will start working. Lord, I pray for those who desire uh, promotion. I pray for new businesses, oh Lord. And I thank you. Because Lord, your people will come in their house. And as I say, Lord, everyone will come with money and everyone will come with an offering before your house. And as your people, Lord, offer to you, they will increase from one glory to another in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Shall we give the Lord a mighty clap? Amen. So I have already, I've already taken 15 minutes, so I will trust the Lord to give me just a few other minutes. Today we are just introducing the year, and uh, I thank God, because the Lord is uh, gracious. Amen. 
Let's open our Bibles in the book of um, Thessalonians, chapter 1. Thessalonians, chapter 1. I have a lot of scriptures, but I will not give them today. Let us read from verse 1 together. Shall we stand together as we read the word of God? I will pray that we read all of it, the first chapter of the first Thessalonians together by the grace of God. Can we? Have you opened it? Do you have it? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Paul, can we read it? Paul and Silvanus and Timotheus and to the church of the Salonians, which is in God, the Father and the, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. That is the first verse. Hallelujah. The church of the Solonians, which is in God. The church of eternity, which is in God. The Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. It is in Trinity. Grace be to you and peace. We want to speak the grace of God and peace in the church of Christ in eternity. Okay? Verse 2. We give thanks to God always for you all, making mention of you in our prayers. Verse 3, remembering without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ in the sight of God and our Father. Verse 4, knowing, brethren, beloved, your election of God. For our gospel came not in word only, but also in power, and the Holy Ghost, in so much assurance as we know what man of men were among you for your sake. Verse 6, and you became followers of us and of the Lord having received the word in much affliction with much joy of the Holy Ghost, so that you are an example to all that believe in Macedonia and Achai. For from you sounded out the word of the Lord, not only in Macedonia and in Achai, but also in every place, you have faith to, towards God, is spread abroad so that we need not to speak anything. For they them themselves show of us what manner of entering in we had unto you, and how you turned to God from your idols to serve the living and the true God, and to wait for his son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus, which delivered us from the wrath to come. May the Lord bless you. As you sit down, we hear shortly the word of God. There's a lot of things that are going to come from this scripture in this year. I know you are tired, and I know you are in a celebration mood. But I want to tell you that the Lord God has spoken to us concerning this year. And the Lord God chose a small church like the Salonians. The Salonian was not a big church, but it was a small congregation. 
But the Lord God, this congregation, there was something unique with them. And there are things here the Lord is speaking about them. And he says that the, this church of the Salonians became an example of faith in the entire of Macedonia. Praise God. And he says that this church, verse 3, he says, remembering without ceasing your work of faith. There are about four things there which are mentioned. But in this year we are going to deal with two. There are four things mentioned there, but this year we are going to deal with two. Hallelujah. There was something very special with this church. Hallelujah. There were marks of this church. Okay. I pray that they will become the marks of eternity gospel church and ministries. Hallelujah. There was something, he said, there are four things. Number one, your work of faith. That's the first thing that this church was carrying. There was their works of faith. Number two, the labor of love. Amen. Actually, there are three. And patient of hope. There are three things. This church was having three things. And the Lord God has spoken to us in this year that we have a season, that God has opened a season of labor. A season of the labor of the works of the labor of love. Our scripture that God has given us for the theme of this year is John 14, 12. Is John 14, 12. That is the theme for this year. You can write it somewhere. It says, truly, truly, I say to you that he believeth on me and the works that I do shall he also do. And greater works than this he shall do because I go to my father. I want to speak it here and now. And I say the Lord God took us from the time of restoration. Friends, you may not know where we came from. But I want to remind you where we came from. Hallelujah. In 2020, there was an outbreak of COVID in the world. Hallelujah. It was declared that all of us in Africa will die. It was a threatening sickness. Many of our friends died. Across the world, thousands and thousands of people died. Two years, 2020, 2019, and 2020. Even as we began 2021, we were still on our masks. Is it true? Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. And the Lord spoke to us. Hallelujah. The Lord said, 2021 will be a year of restoration. I will restore. He gave us the scripture, joy. I will restore what the locusts have eaten. The canker worms. I will restore. Hallelujah. And God began a time of restoration. Our nation was going through political politics. At the same time. And you remember every year in our country, there is an election, we fight. But the Lord says, I will restore, and I will restore this nation. And I will restore my people. Hallelujah. And as we came to the end yesterday, the Lord has been at work of restoration. Praise God. All of us are covid Survivors. Is it true? We are God preserved us from the great terror of COVID. And God restored us. And God preserved us. And God did that for a purpose. 
that he may usher us in 2023. Hallelujah. He may usher us. Eh? 2020, 2021, COVID. Part of 2022, COVID. Hallelujah. And now the Lord God now speaks to us. Hallelujah. Amen. One of the things I know, one of the things I know, is that Jesus is coming soon. Jesus is coming soon. That's something I want to tell you. Hallelujah. Amen. Some or even demonic, demonic, all the time uh, people, okay, are uh, spoken. Okay. Praise God. That this year, okay, this year 2023, it is in many books. It is in many books. I want you to go and check those who research. You shall find this year, some of the people spoke about it in the 1500s. Spoke about 2023 in the 1500s. Okay? Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. One of the things you have to understand is that Jesus is coming to take a revived church. Praise God. When Jesus left, he left a revived church. He, he left a church that was walking in the works of God. One else was if he will. He left a church that was on fire. And when Jesus is coming, he's coming to take a revived church. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. And therefore, because Jesus is coming, thank you, Lord. The Bible says, before the coming of the Lord, God will send the spirit of Elijah again. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What is Elijah known for? Greater works of God. Elijah is a man that came to restore the wonders and miracles of God. That's why when, when, when Herod had the miracle Jesus was doing, he thought actually Elijah had come back. Hallelujah. Because the only man who they knew walked in greater works of God was Elijah. One else was if he And the Bible says before the coming of the Lord, God will send the spirit of Elijah back. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. 2023 is going to be a year that very many things are going to happen. Hallelujah. Some people are already predicting that in 2023, the Antichrist will actually show his head. 2023. People are already speaking. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Are we together? Amen. Some people are already predicting that in 2023, we're going to go for the third world war. In 2023. I don't know whether some of you saw that there is an alliance of five nations that have come together. Some of these are actually part of the Gog and Magog. Okay? The five nations which have come together it includes China, Russia, Turkey, okay, Iran, and South Africa. They have come together to create another alliance against the West Alliance. Praise God. They are speaking that it is about economic agenda. But we know it is greater agenda than the economic agenda. One else was if you will. I must tell you because the church must also be updated. Hallelujah. The church must be updated. We cannot, the Bible says, we are not ignorant. We cannot remain in ignorance. We must understand the time and the clock of God. 
But that's what I feel with Amen. The Bible says, Do not be foolish that this day may come to you without knowing. The day of the Lord is at hand. What else was if you were? And the Lord God, lift your hands like this. Amen. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Amen. Just like they are preparing, just like the devil and his armies are preparing, God is also preparing his people for the time. Hallelujah. And we are his people. Hallelujah. And we are up. Tell your neighbor we are up. We are not sleepy. As they are, they are consolidating themselves. As they are putting together up. As they are joining the nations. Hey, what does Psalm say? Psalms chapter 2. What does it say? Psalms chapter 2, what does it say? Hallelujah. Why? Does the nations of the earth do what? Hey, look at that. Hey, rich. Hallelujah. Praise. Look at uh, Psalm chapter 2. Hey, very important. I know some of you know Psalms chapter 1, but uh, Psalms chapter 2 is also great. Hallelujah. Hey, amen. Who can read uh, Psalms chapter 1? Hey, let's read for us. Chapter 2, yes. Chapter 2. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to prepare your heart. You cannot just make it another year foolishly. We must be in the plan and connected with the agenda of God in this season. Amen. Read it. Why do the heathen rage? Yes, the heathen rage. And the people imagine a vain thing. Uh -huh. The kings of the earth set themselves. The kings of the earth set themselves. And the rulers counsel together. And the rulers counsel together. Against and the Lord. Against the Lord. And against his anointed saying. And against the anointed saying. Let us break their heads as bands asunder. Mm -hmm. And cast away their cords from us. Mm -hmm. He that sitteth in the heaven shall laugh. Mm. The Lord shall have them in derision. Mm. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath mm -hmm. and vex them in his sore displeasure. Mm. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. Mm. I will declare the decree. The Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son. Mm -hmm. This day have I begotten thee. Hallelujah. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Mm. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Mm. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry and ye perish from the way, when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed Amen. are all they that put their trust in him. Amen. Hallelujah. As they consolidate themselves, the Lord will do what? He will laugh. The Lord will laugh. Why is the Lord laughing? Because he's ahead of them. The Lord is ahead of them. One else as if he will. And I want to encourage you today. As we begin the year, this is not just another year. Okay. Let me tell you something. In this year, in this year, it is painful word I'm going to tell you. It's a painful word I'm going to tell you. Okay? But the Lord said, show me the, 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 a serpent opening the mouth like this. Okay? The serpent opening the mouth like this. I saw a picture of a serpent opening the mouth like this. Okay? And I want to tell you this year, many foolish Christians will die. Many foolish Christians will die physically. Are you, are you understanding? Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This is not a year like another year. Hallelujah. The enemy is rising and his mouth is open. Hallelujah. 
Praise the name of Jesus. We cannot practice the Christianity of yesterday. The Lord said to me, the church must arise and pray. Hallelujah. The church. Am I talking to you? The church must do what? We must lock ourselves in caves, in the mountain, and seek God. Hallelujah. And to deal with every agenda of the enemy in this year. I can tell you there are many evil agenda of the enemy for you this year. Hallelujah. The Bible says, since the time of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violent and violent men who take it by force. I say this year you're going to take it by force. Hey, hallelujah. You're going to take this year by what? By force in God. Hallelujah. You're going to save your life. You're going to walk in God. You're going to walk and fight a battle. Hallelujah. Foolish Christians who think they can play around. Hallelujah. Play around. Who die. Hallelujah. We are living in a dangerous moment of time. We cannot play anymore. We must seek the Lord. We must spend more hours in the presence of God than elsewhere. Hallelujah. I want to tell you, dangerous demons were released last night by the enemy. Hallelujah. To destroy the work of God. To destroy the young man. Spirit of immorality was released last night. To usher many young people in immorality. Hallelujah. Last night, a lot of devils of deception were released. Hallelujah. To deceive many Christians and to take them from the way. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Are we understanding what we are, what, what we are talking about? The spirit of homosexuality were released last night. To usher many of our children into to homosexuality. We cannot play. We must go on our knees and they call upon the name of the Lord. Are we understanding? Hallelujah. It's not business as usual. Hallelujah. There are many who are singing Happy New Year who will not see December. Hallelujah. It is a dangerous here. But the dangers of the here, the Lord wants to show his mighty works. The Bible says, listen to me, the Bible says, when the devil shall come to you like the flood. Hallelujah. Like 2023, the devil is coming to us like what? The Bible says, God shall raise what? A standard. God shall raise a standard. And I want to believe that's why God is speaking the year of greater works. Greater works. Hallelujah. When the enemy raises his head, God raises the standard. I'll be showing you the scripture. Where God says, in this year, I am raising the standard. Hallelujah. Amen. The Christianity of yesterday. Hallelujah. Amen. Cannot conquer. Hallelujah. The, the demonic powers of today. The anointing of yesterday. The prayers of yesterday. Hallelujah. The Lord is calling on us. Amen. To spend hours. And hours before God. Praise God. Amen. When we began last year, some people were singing, Bishop, happy new year. We'll be with you. Hallelujah. And throughout the year. But Peter was told by Jesus, Peter, Peter, I saw the devil falling like a like like lightning. And I say, Peter devil has asked permission to do what? To shake you. But I prayed for you. And the Lord was reminding me as a bishop and a pastor of this ministry 
to spend more hours praying for you. Praying for you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. You need more prayer. You need prayer partners who are going to pray for you. Not only your prayer, but also other people praying for you. Hallelujah. God is arising. And God must find you. And God must position you. Hallelujah. In the book, hallelujah, of, of Hebrews. Let's look at Hebrews. I want to finish. I want to finish. Thank you, Jesus. Hebrews. Chapter 12. Hallelujah. Verses 1. It says, wherefore, since we are, we are surrounded by, by many witnesses, let us lay aside. Hallelujah. Is it true? Every weight and everything. That, hallelujah. Hey, praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Wherefore, seeing we are compassed about, we saw great cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and every sin which can death easily beset us. And let us run with the patient the race that is before us. Looking to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith over the joy that was set before him he endured the cross, despising the shame that was set at and is set at the, at the right hand of the, far, of the throne of God. Hallelujah. Friends, I want to conclude with this word. Hallelujah. We are surrounded with crowd of witnesses. There are those who are saying you're going to fail. There are others who are thinking you may get out of the race earlier. Hallelujah. But there are those who have gone before us like Abraham and Isaac and David and, and uh, Peter and John and, and, and the servants of God that are surrounding and say they are cheering us. And the Bible says, let us put aside every, every weight and sin. I wanted to say this, friends. There are things to put aside this year. There are things to put aside this year. I don't know what they are, but I want you to listen to the Lord. As you go home, listen to the Lord. What is the Lord saying? Some of the things that you may put up to set, put aside. Hallelujah. There are things the Holy Spirit will be in point and say, you need to put aside this. Hallelujah. Some of us, like last year, maybe we were so busy with so many things that you never got time to spend hours in prayer. The Lord is saying there are things to set aside. Set aside. Hallelujah. The Lord may be when we say that you need to get out of some of the social space that you are to set aside. Hallelujah. Today, so many of us are overwhelmed by the social media that we have no time even to spend time with the Lord. The Lord is saying there are things that we may have to set aside. Oh, hallelujah. Because there's a race that is before us. Hallelujah. There's a race that is before us. There's an agenda that is before us. We cannot survive COVID and play. Amen. We cannot survive the great death that came the nations and play. God has come to show us his great works. God is looking for men that he can carry his great works in Tao. Hallelujah. Today there are many people who have, who have devoted themselves to serve the devil. Some of them even they have labeled themselves with the tattoos that I am going to serve the devil. Hallelujah. Some of them have put their clothes aside and they are ready to, to influence the world in immorality. Okay? Because they have sold themselves out as the agents and the servants of the devil. Hallelujah. 
But God is looking for men or, and the women who are going to say, Lord, in the middle of this wicked generation, I will carry and I will show forth your works in this generation. Praise the name of Jesus. And the Lord says that there are things that we may put aside. That, that we have raised before us. Hallelujah. I don't know what is your strategy. I don't know what is your plan. I don't know how you are going to walk with the Lord this year. But I pray that you may sit with the Lord. Let the Lord instruct you. The Lord need you. The Lord need to spend more time with you. You need to spend more time with your Bible than you've ever spent your time with the Bible last year. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. There are many people who read so many things, but they have never read their Bibles. And this year the Lord is saying, you, I, you need to spend more time with your Bible. You need to know what the Lord says. Amen. Let me tell you something. And this, one, this one is important. The Bible says, the just shall live by faith. Hallelujah. I want to tell you, those who are going to conquer this year are men and women of great faith. And if there is anything that you need to build, and the Lord said to me, tell the church to build their faith. The faith shall cause you to conquer. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and the hearing by the word of God. You need to spend more time eating things that are going to build your faith. Hallelujah. Your, your, your muscles of faith must grow. Hallelujah. And how do they grow? By eating food that can build your faith. One has a few. The word of God is one of the substance. Let me tell you, if you want to grow in faith, there are following things you must do. Hallelujah. Number one, Praise the name of Jesus. You must be able to eat at least five chapters of the Bible every day. Hey, eating. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody said if you want to have muscles, you must take a spoon of this, a spoon of this. I want to give you, hallelujah, praise the name of Jesus. I say five chapters. I say five chapters. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey. Praise God. Amen. And at least pray one hour. At least. Hey, hey. Jesus told the disciples, you cannot wait for me even one hour. Is it possible that this year you can devote yourself to pray for one year in a day, one hour per day? One hour. That one hour you must spend in time in prayer. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what is happening. You must pray. Maybe you're going to take that in the morning, that in the evening. I don't know. But it, is, it must be a must. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. I am speaking about 2021. Hallelujah. 2024. 2023. I'm ahead one year. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Number three. You must surround yourself with worship. You must surround yourself with what? Worship. Songs of worship. Praise and worship. Please, I pray that you may surround yourself with worship. I say, I want to ask the administrator of this church, can there be worship in this church continuously? Can there be songs of praise and worship in this church continuously? We want to surround ourselves with worship. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Let me tell you something. Amen. Worship has got power. As it is surrounds, it changes the environment. It changes the environment. Hallelujah. Somebody wanted to know how powerful worship is. Hallelujah. Somebody wanted to know how powerful worship is. Songs of worship. Hallelujah. So he, he did an experiment. He took some cows. Some cows of milk. Hallelujah. And he put them in a place, hallelujah, where there was no music of worship. Hallelujah. And he was, and he took some cows and he put them in an environment where there was worship. Hallelujah. And he was able to find out that the cows where the music of worship was were producing more milk 
the cows where there was no worship. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hey! He took other cows and they put them where there was two. Two. He said, huh? And I told you, huh? Don't bolo. The milk reduced. Paka gombes na stuka. Hallelujah! But the worship was able to minister even to the cows. Hallelujah! Praise the name of Jesus. As we surround ourselves with worship, our lives, the environment will change. Hallelujah! In your car, you can put music, worship. Hallelujah! In your house, you can put worship. Hallelujah! Praise the name of Jesus. I am talking about building your faith. Number four. Hallelujah. Be in the fellowship of believers. Especially where the power of God is. Be in the fellowship. Decide to be in the fellowship. To be in the fellowship. This idea of staying alone is not going to help you. Your faith is going to be built as you come along with other believers. We are built, we sing together, we are able to hear the word of God. And sure, you are in the church, in the fellowship. Hallelujah. And you receive the word of God. The just shall live by faith. There are things that you may have put aside. Hallelujah. Somebody said, it is madness to do things the same way and expect different results. God is expecting us to do things differently. If you are going to walk with God, your life must change. Men and women who walked with God, they spend a lot of time with God. Going to the mountain should not be for the time when the church is going. By the way, the mountain, the prayer, the prayer mountain, we have already finished the floor and put the glasses. It is now a chapel. And you can spend time there before God. You can decide and say, I will be spending my time I want once, okay? I want a month, I will go there myself. Just spend one day before God. I want to spend time in the bush. I want to spend time with God. I want to seek God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. This year, the Lord is saying, is a year of labor and of great works of God. We must labor in prayer. We must labor in fasting. And numbers, number five, fasting. Fasting. And I want to declare month of January a month of fasting. Fasting. Hallelujah. This church, we have, there's been a lot of eating. Tell your neighbor, this church, there's been a lot of eating. Hallelujah. There's been a lot of eating. Even the mama has told you of the church, they will be also eating. Hallelujah. But I want to declare that 2023, there will be a lot of fasting. Hallelujah. There will be what? And we have also found out that when we declare fasting, some people eat. We are going to supervise you. <laughs> Hallelujah. You must fast. There are some demons which don't go without what? Prayer and fasting. Hallelujah. We must make fasting part of your weekly program. Where you say, I will fast on these days. The Bible says the Pharisees used to fast twice a week. And the fasting has become part of your lifestyle. By the grace of God. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, this year, you must cut some plates. Amen. Do you know why many people are developing cancer? Is eating. The stomach is never given break. Hallelujah. Huh? Somebody said, some people are digging their graves with their own teeth. Hallelujah. You know, these teeth, they are digging the grave. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. They said, most people have living, who, have left, who have lived more years, they are those who eat once a, week, once a day. They have lived more years. And those who eat three times a week a day. Hallelujah. God wants you more in his presence. Hallelujah. 
It's a time of labor. It's a time of labor. You must labor. This year, I pray that nobody, everybody here, we're going to do like John. Everybody must be known. What do you do? Hallelujah. By the grace of God. The Bible says, let us put every, every weight, every sin, and the weight aside. Hallelujah. That can hold us from running this race. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, the age you are, you'll never be it next year. You should be a different age. We have an opportunity to serve God. This is our day. Jesus said, I must walk when it is day. For the night cometh. God has given us our day. 2023 is our day for labor. We must work. Hallelujah. It must, we must write. There must, be, there, must, there must be history made from 2023. History made from your life. When you are grandchildren. Hallelujah. Amen. One time, I went to preach in America. I went to preach. Hallelujah. Amen. And the, the church I went to preach, the pastor was a woman. Hallelujah. She's an anointed woman of God. And then from there, we went to their house. And I just wanted to find out, you know, how do you, did you connect with God? How did you get impartation in the ministry? Hallelujah. And she told me, Bishop, this room where we are eating here, this room we are eating here, hallelujah. Amen. Was a room, was a bedroom of my grandfather. Hallelujah. Praise God. And this, this girl told me the prayers of my grandfather were like my lullabies. I used to leave my grand, I used to go to sleep and listen to him praying until I sleep. And when I wake up in the morning, I used to find him praying again. Hallelujah. And that is the foundation of the transformation in my life. What else was it anyway? I pray that God, I pray that your grandchildren will be able to speak about you and say the prayer of my grandfather. I used to leave him on the knees. I used to find him in the morning on the knees. Praise the name of Jesus. We must write our story. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says we have a race that we must run. Amen. That we may run the race that is before. Let me tell you, life is not a walk. Life is what? It's a race. Hallelujah. Looking unto Jesus. I say 2023. Looking unto Jesus. The author and the finisher. We have one who finished the race. We have one who, who accomplished and who said it is finished. We have one who has gone ahead of us. We have one who has set an example. He is our example, Jesus Christ. I don't want you to look at other people. Maybe other pastors and bishops have failed. Like every time I hear people telling me that pastors have failed. And I say, why don't you become one? Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Why don't you become one pastor who will not fail? Hallelujah. But we have one example of one who never failed. Our Lord Jesus Christ. Looking unto Jesus. The author and the finisher of our faith. Hallelujah. Who, against contradiction, he endured the cross. And he's seated at the right hand of the Father. Praise God. How I want to invite you to 2023. I pray that you're not going to mess 2023. Some of us mess 2022. Don't mess 2023. It's very new. Tell your neighbor, this year is very new. Don't mess it up. Hallelujah. It's very clean. Hallelujah. Unless you bring your uncleanness inside it. Hallelujah. This year is holy before God. Hallelujah. Don't waste this year. Don't rubbish this year. This year can turn to be the beginning of your years. Look at the Exodus chapter 12. I finished there. Exodus chapter 12. 
God said to Moses, tell the people, tell the people that this month shall be the beginning of your months. I pray 2022 can be a beginning of a greater ministry in your life. 2022, 2023 can be a beginning of a greater ministry in your life. 2023 can be a beginning of a greater breakthrough that will impact not only your generation, but the generations to come by the grace of God. 2023 could be a beginning of a move of God in your life that will bless your generations. Something great can happen in 2023 that we shall bless your children and your children's children. Hallelujah. Shall we stand before God in Jesus' name? Shall we stand before God? I want Mike to put that song before us. There's a race. There's a race. Hallelujah. Tell the Lord, I'm not ready to run this race. When people are running, they remove most of the jacket. What do I adore it? What do I jacket? Like in Wakati, when I give me a jacket, I'll give you a jacket. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sidi kweli kipto. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Hallelujah. They put them aside. There are things we must put aside. There are friends we must put aside. There are some association we must put aside. That we may run this race. Praise God. God has before us. This is a year of labor. Jesus said, I must do the work. Hallelujah. My father walketh and I must walk. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to fold your sleeves to work for God. I want you to give yourself to the service of God. I want you to labor. The Bible says the church of the Thessalonica. Paul said that he, he remembers their work of faith. Their work of faith. Their labor of love. These people. May God raise us. There's a race before us. There is a race I must run. There is a race. We better get it right. Uh, we better get it right. Hey, there is a huh? race. I You make it work. I want you to see our work. Amen. Yes, okay, okay. Let's make it loud. Okay. I want you to run up today. Are you ready? To run? Yeah. And you do you sing that song when you sing?
The Lord give you truth to the call. The call of God. The Lord give you truth. Pray before God this prayer. Father God, I dedicate myself to be true to you and true to your calling. I know that you have preserved my life from many dangers and even from the past sicknesses because of the agenda of this year. Therefore, Lord, I give myself to you that you may use me as a vessel to carry the greater works that you want to do in this year. Father, I ask you to give me more time of intimacy with you. I need more time with you. Therefore, separate me from many things that can waste my time and cause me, Lord, to seek you because every blessing of this year is in your hands. I know the enemy devil is rising as well to bring destruction. But I pray, Lord, that you preserve me and cause me to be found under your refuge. Under your refuge. I pray today, Lord, to cause me to arise, to run this race, the race before me, I pray, Lord, take away every sin and wait. And help me, Lord, to design what I must put aside. That I may run this race before me, looking to Jesus. I pray, Lord, that this year I will focus on Jesus, the author and the finisher of my faith. I give myself to you, Lord, to serve you in 2023, to love you like I've never done before. Give me, give me strength to labor in prayer, in word, in works, in service. I ask you today, give me grace to serve you. I thank you for giving me an opportunity to live this year. I ask you, Lord, that I will not waste this year, but I will live a life that will glorify your name. That will glorify your name. I dedicate my year before you, and I pray that you will be glorified in me and through me. I fully surrender to you, Lord. And I accept to follow you in this year. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. Put a wall of protection. As you prayed, Lord Jesus, you said, lead us not to temptation. We pray today, Lord, 2023, lead us not to temptation. But deliver us from the evil. Surround us, O oh God. And fight our battles. 
we dedicate ourselves to you, Lord. We ask you to clean us from everything that can cause anger and wrath upon our lives. We pray, Lord, that we shall bear your name and we shall not be ashamed of you in this year. Lord, you say in your word, the just shall live by faith. I pray today, cause me to grow in faith day by day. Cause me to grow in prayer. Cause me to, to grow in reading your word. Cause me to grow in fellowship and the service. I thank you, Lord. I pray, Lord, that I will not be foolish. Because you have spoken about foolish Christians. We're going to die. Lord, I pray that I will not be foolish. But I will pray for the spirit of wisdom and understanding and revelation upon my life. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. And I worship you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's give the Lord a mighty clap. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know what is your prayer for the year. But if you have written your prayer for the year, you can bring it here. Some of you brought last night. But if you have written your prayer for the year, you can still bring it. In Jesus' name. There are resolutions. There are agendas. There are things you have committed before God. On Saturday, we are all going to the mountain. And please don't miss to go to the mountain. We are want to meet here in the morning. There will be vehicles to take us to the mountain. Let us go and spend just Saturday. We will take all those prayers. And I want, I'm praying for those prayers I received yesterday. And I want to spend January praying for each of those prayers. In the mighty name of Jesus. We want to trust God for his works. I said we are going to be practical. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't want to close this service without doing a practical thing. Hallelujah. Yeah, they call it CBO, CBC what? Yeah, competent? Based? Curriculum. It's practical, isn't it? It's practical based, isn't it? I want, the other day I was told the parents are probably told to bring chicken, to bring what? Hallelujah. Even our church, God is going to cause us. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let us just be in prayer quickly. There's, a, there's something practical the Lord wants to do here. Something practical in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There's somebody who came with pain, just pain. You know, you have body pain. Hallelujah. And you desire to be ill today. Just there's been pain in your body. Hallelujah. Just come in prayer before God. There's just been body pains. Unexplainable. You are not able to explain what it is, but there have been pains in your body. I'm going to request Reverend Miriam to come and pray and deliver this dear lady from every pain in the name of Jesus. Is there anybody else? You have been having pains in your body. Just come and receive Hallelujah. This is the year for walking in greater works of God. We are going to hear testimonies of what God is doing in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Shall we raise our hands and trust the Lord for the practical healing that it is going to be practically done by the Lord in the name of Jesus. Or our sister Jacqueline. That the Lord God is going to lift every pain and every sickness that has caused pain in our body in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us trust the Lord together. Put your faith and our faith together. Because the Lord says we shall walk in greater works. We are going to experience the mighty healing of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father we pray. Let us be in prayer. Lord we pray for our sister. Pray for her even herself. In the mighty name of Jesus. May there be may there be deliverance and healing and every pain liver right now in the name of Jesus 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 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Every pain shall live out. Every pain. Yes, Lord, our sister will walk in good health. 2023, she will walk not in sicknesses, not like Father, every fit of sickness shall live out. Go! In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit of infirmity, spirit of infirmity, you are living right now. You are living right now in the name of Jesus. Spirit of infirmity, sickness of all kind, you are living right now. Spirit of infirmity, in the name of Jesus. Pain of every kind, you are living today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Can he for a job in this month of January. Just come before God in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Just come before God. Thank you, Lord. You have been invited for an interview of a job or you are looking for a job in this month. This month, you must work. Just come. I want to request Sister Faith to write their names, all these people all these people. And I want to ask the intercessors in this church we will be in prayer for them. We are trusting the Lord for their jobs. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In January. In January. In January. In January. Write their names down. Oh, oh, oh. I know say Jehovah the final say I say Jehovah the final say Jehovah the final say Jehovah the final say Jehovah the final say I say the final say Jehovah, the final sin. Jehovah, the final sin. Jehovah, the final sin. Jehovah, my life around. Jehovah, touch my life around. In grace I wear, in the midst of rain. Jehovah, the final sin. The hope of touch my life around me is a way, it is a way. The hope of the final sea. As we as we pray now, as we pray for these people right here, raise your hand before God. I speak jobs in January. I speak employment. I speak it to happen. As you walk in those doors, some of the doors were locked in 2023. But I say 2023, 2022, but 2023, those doors are open. 
they are open for your jobs for your jobs for your jobs and I prophesy those jobs right now in the name of Jesus Father God this is a work of God the works of God this is the works of God my Lord that these people who are kneeling before they will have jobs they will have jobs they will have jobs I speak their jobs I speak them having a job in general. Some of them are going for interview this week. Some of them are going to be called for interview this week. Lord, they will be called for it. I say they will be called. I pray that their file will be open this week. Their file will be open in the name of Jesus. They will be called. Places they wrote many years, many months ago, they will be called for the interview. And Lord, I pray. I pray, Lord. Hey, thank you, Lord. Receive this word. Some of you are going to receive the first harvest of this prophetic word. The first, you are going to be the first one to receive the harvest. The, the what the first fruit of the prophetic word of the year. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Yes, the first fruit of the prophetic year. The word has said the work, the greater works. Let it be that you are going to bear the first testimony. That you're going to bear the first testimony of the doing of God in the name of Jesus. Lord, oh God, my Father. Let it be. 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 Receive your job. Receive your job in the name of Jesus. Receive your job in the name of Jesus. Receive your job in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Receive your job. Receive your job. Receive your job in the name of Jesus. Receive your job. Receive your job in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Thank God. 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 As you are there, there are things the Lord is wanting to make a vow before Him. There's a vow the Lord is wanting to make before Him. In the name of Jesus. That even when you get that job, you'll be faithful to God. That even when you get that job, you shall serve God with that job. Make a vow before God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I bless you, Lord. I worship your name. Let us all give the Lord a praise and a celebration. God bless you. We have your names. Hallelujah. It is done. It is done. It is done. Go and knock the doors. From tomorrow, don't sit home. Hallelujah. Go and open the doors. Start opening the doors. Start opening the doors. Knocking those doors. In Jesus' name. Yes. Want to say something? She want to testify? Huh? Give her the mic. Give her the mic. Praise God. Praise God again. I bless the Lord for having taken away my pain. I was feeling that my, my legs were very heavy. I was not even able to, to bend and stand upright, but I think God has done it his way. He has done it as God. Amen. I thank Amen. God and I bless the Lord for God Amen. for having done it for me. Amen. For I've gone through it in many years, but the Lord has done it for me. I have a reason to praise the Lord today for his healing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. May the Lord give you a great year. Hallelujah. Amen. I speak the blessings of God. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. Amen. And give you victory in the year 2023. We want to prophesy to 2023 now. Ushindi. Amen? Amen. Ushi. Ushindi. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you ready? Amen. Kuna ushindi wajabu. Hallelujah. Kuna ushindi wajabu. Hallelujah. Kuna ushindi ushindi. Hallelujah. Kuna ushindi wajabu. Hallelujah. Ushindi. Ushindi. Hallelujah. Kuna
joy in the house of God. It has begun. It has begun. Hallelujah. It will continue. Hallelujah. When you finish the service, you want to come back, come back. Continue. In Jesus' name. The youth have got tea for us and we shall be blessed together by the grace of God. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on others in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not temptation. But deliver us. Evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We are going to speak the word of grace together. And when we finish the word of grace together, please go to somebody and wish them a great year. And as you greet them, tell them, might greater works, walk in greater works. Hallelujah. Walk in labor and greater works. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Greet somebody. Greet somebody. Two people, three people, the visitors. We are coming to all the visitors. Please bring them to the office for a cup of tea. May the Lord bless you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Have a victorious here by the grace of God. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah.